Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about uh, coupling dynamics and the topic for this video is freedom and spaciousness. So, of course, when you enter into a relationship, there is going to be a structure or a frame or something that says, from now on, you are coupled with that person. The relationship might last for three months, six months, a year, ten years, so for the rest of your life. It's possible that you end up being married with that person and that uh, suddenly there is, you know, there is something that is relatively predictable for the rest of your life or for the time that you are going to be with that person because it's a vehicle. There is a certain amount of um, expectations that are put on you because you are in this relationship. So the idea of freedom and and spaciousness means that you consciously learn how to create more space into your relationship. One of the core mistakes that people do make when they enter into a relationship is controlling each other too much, domesticating each other, adding this element where you are going to be demanding from your partner certain behaviors certain expectations and in the process of doing that you're going to lock them in and limit their expansion and limit their freedom and what this does is that it might give you a sense of security because you are in control over what happens in your environment in your space in your life in your relationship in your sex life so it gives you a sense of control and that control gives you a sense of security but at the same time you are killing the flow and the freedom and the spaciousness of your couple. And eventually what's going to happen is that you will tend to asphyxiate the natural life force that might be flowing in your relationship. So imagine what happens when somebody is in your field just trying to control you all the time. Okay? Judging your actions, controlling what you're saying, judging or criticizing your words, your your uh, feelings, your impressions, your emotions, criticizing your time frame, criticizing or trying to control the way you lead your life, the choice that you make, the career choices that you make. So the idea is this, it is remove the control patterns and add more freedom and spaciousness to the relationship. Spaciousness means you're okay. You don't have to be in charge. You don't have to be in control. You don't have to micromanage the relationship. And what this is going to do is that it's just going to create space. And so a little bit of control here and there, a little bit of maybe challenging feedback is okay. You know, we are not saying that you have to completely remove those qualities out of the relationship. What I'm saying here is that too much of it is going to burn you out. Okay? Imagine what happens when you are working in a business and your boss is behind you all the time, checking you out and trying, uh, trying to, to control and micromanage every aspect of your day. So this is going to kill your spontaneity and your creative power. So what you want to do is instead, you know, in your relationship, just create space, create spaciousness, be okay with the choice of your partner. Even if you disagree with something that they are doing, you go like, you know what? It's your choice. It's your life. You are an independent uh, energy being and it's your choice. You, you, can, you can do what you want when it comes to that. I don't want you to stay with me because you are forced to. I want you to stay with me because there is a love and energetic resonance here that really works for the, the two of us. Okay? You see the difference? So when people break up, when they step out of relationships, most of the times they break up because the relationship has become too constricting. It's like there is not enough space for evolution and because your being stops evolving, then you, step to, you have to step out of your relationship to keep on evolving. And that sucks. You know, you don't want to do that. You don't want to have to do that. So add as much spaciousness, as much freedom in your relationship as you can. And yes, sometimes there is going to be an end of the cycle of what you could experience in that relationship and a natural breakup is going to happen. But, you know, there, I see lots of couples, lots of situations where people, you know, couples are going to, uh, uh, partners are going to saturate each other with demands and pressure and eventually you cannot breathe anymore. So add this freedom and this spaciousness uh, to your couple and this is going to secure uh, a way longer um, uh, lifespan for, for your coupling experience.